And now we need Mike Taylor to have ah. us covered because yeah. we need those leaves to start changing. And it looks like things are being a little delayed. It's isolated across Metro Detroit, but okay. you know, it's just the warm conditions and the dry conditions that are kind of delaying things. Uh, but we've been noticing that we're getting the same notes in our weather department as ah, well. Look at that. Looking forward to the fall season <laughs> while Gail is like, hey, hey, wait a minute. We know summer, <laughs> summer went by just a little bit too fast. So I'm sure that she's happy the fact that summer's holding on, or at least it's trying to. And this fog has been holding on over the last couple of days as well. Your forecast rundown has plenty of summer to get through. That's going to be for the rest of this week. Slight changes into next week with a slight chance of rain as well. And the drought monitor will get an update today, and I will not be surprised if it goes abnormally dry across a good chunk of Metro Detroit, maybe even crossing over into that moderate drought like condition, especially south of the city. We'll talk about that later on this morning. 64 in downtown Detroit, and we will mention the winds are from the north. Those winds are not strong enough to help us out, so we're still dealing with visibility issues across the area. That's not going to improve, uh, mainly down near Temperance as well as areas near Lapeer. Looking across all of Metro Detroit, it is very patchy at best, so it's not dense fog for everybody, but it could be dense enough to slow you down. Otherwise, it's just like it was yesterday with temps in the 60s and the 50s. Your bus stop forecast is in the 60s for now with the mild and foggy conditions, but how about the quick warm up for the ride home? We get right back to the 80s. We will have 80s across all of Metro Detroit. If you are away from the lakes, I'm thinking you're going to be warmer. In other words, look at the comparison between Monroe as well as Adrian. That's that easterly wind coming in off the lakes. That might keep it just a little bit cooler. As far as tonight is concerned, mostly clear. Fog will return for tomorrow morning. Temperatures back in the 60s. I'm thinking we'll have widespread fog once again on Friday. Friday night into Saturday, slight chance of rain, but better chances for next week.